Did you know that more people now get their news online than from any other source? MainWebNews.com covers the current events forming the trends of tomorrow. Experience the future of Maine News today at MainWebNews.com. How much does marijuana prohibition cost the Maine taxpayer? Today we're going to look at the case of James P. Fowler because only marijuana is involved in his case and we'll see how much the taxpayer can be on the hook for just one marijuana prosecution. I have moderate to severe uh, degenerative disc disease throughout the whole length of my spine, from the base of my skull to the tip of my tailbone. Hollowell doctor Dustin Sulak wrote Mr. Fowler a medicinal marijuana recommendation about a year ago, on February 9th of 2010. Mr. Fowler has found that medicinal marijuana is highly effective in treating his illness. I don't like taking any medication that was manufactured in somebody's chemistry set. Um, I'd much rather do a natural thing, be it herbal or whatever, acupuncture, Reiki, whatever form of treatment, anything other than pills. James began growing his own medicine, and he also became a caregiver for three other medicinal marijuana patients, which means that he was growing their medicine as well. Everything was going great until a cop in Florida, who shares a Facebook friend with James, saw that James had posted pictures of marijuana on his Facebook page and he called the local police. That's when Maine taxpayers started taking a hit. Matthew Cunningham, an investigator for the Somerset County Sheriff, took the case. He and another person from the Sheriff's Department work together and they each make over $50,000 a year, which is about $200 a day. If you figure two days work a piece, going into the investigation and writing up the request for the search warrant. The cost to Maine taxpayers for this one marijuana case is at $800. Nine officers participated in the raid on James' small one-bedroom mobile home. It included Somerset County Sheriff's officers, Maine DEA agents, and a Pittsfield Town Police officer. MDEA officers cost taxpayers a lot more than sheriff's officers. I think that also needs to be looked at. We certainly could probably save a substantial amount of money if that agency, if the main drug enforcement agency went away and again that money came down to the local. I could probably, in my county, I could hire two agents for every one of theirs, what they pay. So that, was, that would be uh, gotcha. very, a very substantial savings. <laughs> Let's estimate $200 for each of the MDEA officers and throw in some money for Somerset County District Attorney Everett Fowle for the time that he personally spent on the case. Everett Fowle makes about $100,000 a year, and to put that into perspective, that's $30,000 more than the governor, and about three times what the average worker makes in Somerset County. Add to that about $50,000 in benefits, and we're looking at about $400 a day, so figure a half a day's work by Everett Fowle is going to cost about $200. The cost to taxpayers of prosecuting this one marijuana case is now up to $2,700. Now let's add in the cost of one day in court. Figure a judge at $300 a day minimum, Assistant DA Brent Davis at $50,000 salary is about $200 a day, plus a bailiff, stenographer, administrators, and also taxpayers are now going to foot the bill for the entrance of an indigent defense attorney. That's right. The taxpayer is not only footing the bill to prosecute Mr. Fowler, but they're also paying to defend him at the same time, bringing the total cost of this one marijuana prosecution up to $3,700. A Franks hearing is coming up in the Fowler case, which could occupy the court for half a day, so figure that's twice as much as the last time, or about $2,000. Plus $50 for each subpoena that Fowler's attorney John Martin has to send out in order to get the necessary people to court to testify, so all this and our total cost is up to about $6,000. If I do not win at either of those hearings, if the judge finds against me and it goes to trial, from there the costs just get even more staggering. They're going to have to pay to fly the guy from Florida, they're going to have to pay to fly Tom Rourke, and they're going to have to house them for my trial on an indefinite basis because they have to be there for examination and cross-examination at a moment's notice. If this case goes all the way to a jury trial, it would likely take up a full day of the court's time and cost twice as much as the Franks hearing. If the case goes to trial, it could easily bring the cost of this one marijuana prosecution up to $10,000. 
If James is found guilty at a trial by jury, he would face up to a year in jail. Somerset County Jail Administrator Major David Allen told Maine Web News that the estimated cost of incarcerating someone for a year is about $33,000 if you take the total yearly cost of the jail and divide it by the average number of inmates at any given time. The cost to Maine taxpayers of this one marijuana prosecution is up to about $43,000. And we're not done yet. All my meds to the tune of, you know, 1800 bucks a month for my meds, my prescriptions, if I don't have insurance. If I go to jail, I lose my, ben my social security benefits. I lose my Medicaid. That means my, all my total medical expenses now get rolled off on the state. If James is convicted and sentenced to a year in jail, the main taxpayer will be picking up a $21,600 medical bill on top of the other expenses. Now we're talking about a total for this one marijuana prosecution, $65,000. Of course, tax dollars aren't the only cost of this marijuana prosecution. Three medicinal marijuana patients are now without a caregiver. Main Web News caught up with one of them off camera, and he told us that he used to weigh 260, but now is down to about 139 pounds. He can't afford to lose much more. He requires that medication to be able to eat. He can't stomach food without it because of the medications that he's on. Because I haven't been able to supply to him, he's been losing weight at an alarming rate. Uh, all they're doing is hastening his death, basically giving him a death sentence for his involvement in using a medication that works. We make no judgment about the guilt or innocence of James P. Fowler, and to be clear, he and his attorney maintain that the marijuana was legally in his possession. That may be a matter for the courts to decide. But Representative Diane Russell of Maine District 120 has proposed a bill that would force lawmakers to decide whether or not we should continue putting tax dollars into marijuana prohibition. The issue comes down to economics for me. We have hard-working Maine people who are desperate for work right now. Their jobs have been sent overseas, they've been laid off, through no fault of their own. Let's make sure that we're focusing money on creating jobs. We have educational institutions in desperate need of repair. We have bridges and roads that desperately need to be repaired. We have elderly folks who are going home to a cold house at night because they don't have the money to weatherize their home. Why are we focusing so much money on a colossal waste of time? With across-the-board budget cuts looming on the near horizon, many people are asking how we can justify the high cost of what they're calling plant prosecutions. We want to know what you think. Should Maine tax dollars be spent prosecuting marijuana crimes? Leave us a comment. This is Jared LeBlanc with Maine Web News.